Hey what's up Guardians, TBL here, bringing you another Destiny Exotic Weapon Bounty tutorial on the PlayStation 4. This time we will be covering the bounty Shattered Memory Fragment, which grants you the Exotic Fusion Rifle Pocket Infinity. But alright, let's dive on in. Once you've received and accepted the Vanguard Mentor Missive Shattered Memory Fragment, your first objective will be to find the location of Fireteam Touye's last stand. Now to grant a little backstory on this, Fireteam Touye was assembled to discover the secrets of the Vex and were last known to have been working on a prototype weapon, the Pocket Infinity. But alright, head into a patrol on Venus and follow this path, leading you through the Shattered Coast and planting you right in front of the Ishtar Academy. Once you've reached this spot, you'll find a nearby empty room with some fallen hanging around. Inside of the room will be a dead ghost. Once you find the ghost, collect it, and you will have completed step one towards getting the pocket infinity. Now that you've got the damaged ghost, let's move on to step two. The next step of this bounty requires that you kill a Vex Gate Lord with the Heroic Modifier active. To complete this, load up the level 17 Venus mission, Eye of a Gate Lord, and simply complete it as normal, destroying Zydron at the end. Doing so will grant you a restored ghost and move us on to the next phase of the bounty. After you've completed this, your next task will be to bring the restored ghost to the speaker back at the tower. Once you return to the speaker, he'll decipher the hidden codes within the ghost and hand you some fusion rifle schematics. You will then be tasked with taking those schematics to the gunsmith. Wrap back around the tower to our good buddy, Banshee44, where he will then inform you that you need to charge the fusion rifle's core by dismantling 10 rare or higher level fusion rifles. Now this is the stage where this bounty can take a very long time because gathering 10 blue fusion rifles can be a little on the difficult side. You can of course purchase fusion rifles from the Vanguard and Crucible vendor or simply earn them in the Crucible itself. But generally the easiest way to complete this step of the bounty is to simply buy 10 rare fusion rifles from the gunsmith when he's selling them. The gunsmith of course changes his inventory every couple of hours so it can be very difficult to catch him during one of his rare fusion rifle sales. So I would highly recommend using external websites like isthegunsmithsellingfusionrifles.com or the Destiny the Game subreddit to get alerts for whenever the gunsmith is actually selling fusion rifles. Links to both of those will be in the description box below. Believe me, those resources are really helpful. This phase of the bounty took me weeks to complete. But as you can see, anytime you dismantle a rare quality or higher fusion rifle, you will receive fusion rifle energy. And upon dismantling 10, you will receive the charged exotic weapon core. Once you've reached this point, simply bring the core back to the gunsmith and he'll set you off on the final phase of this bounty. Upon receiving the charged score, Banshee44 will then task you with getting 200 fusion rifle kills in the weekly nightfall strike. You can utilize any fusion rifle for this, so make sure you pick one that has the appropriate element damage to match that week's nightfall burn. Now, getting 200 fusion rifle kills might seem a bit daunting. As you can see, I'm using the Vex Mythic class for this here in the video. But you don't actually have to go into the strike zone to complete this task. After launching into the strike, heading into any instant zone will start the parameters of the nightfall and will count towards your kills. Which basically means you can launch the nightfall strike, head into any non-public instant zone, where enemies scale to your level, and then get kills without having to worry about being sent back to orbit if you die. For example, in the video here, this was during the week where the Nightfall Strike was the Nexus. Once I launched the strike and spawned in, I simply turned around and headed straight for the Ishtar Academy where I could kill enemies with impunity. Utilizing this method will help you get your fusion rifle kills much faster since you won't have to worry about getting sent back to orbit if you die. And once I cleared out that area of all its enemies, I headed over to the Hall of Whispers which is the area you take down in the Archive mission. And as you can see there, under the section name, the Nightfall parameters are active meaning any kills I get in here will count towards the goal. And dying is generally not a problem. Now again, this works for any instanced area on whatever planet the Nightfall is taking place on. So, you can head right on in and start getting your kills. And once you've attained all 200 fusion rifle kills, you will receive a stabilized prototype. Congratulations, Guardian. You're just about done. The only step left to complete from here is to simply return to the gunsmith and present him with the stabilized prototype. Doing so will complete the bounty, rewarding you with Pocket Infinity, the extremely powerful exotic fusion rifle. 
Congratulations, Guardian. You earned this one. But alright, as usual, before we end this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Pocket Infinity itself and go over some of its abilities. This weapon does deal solar damage and comes with a base of 260 out of 300 attack. It gets both smooth and soft ballistics, both of which help with recoil, as well as a linear compensator. The Infinity also comes with Surplus, which helps you find more ammo. And on the mid-tree tier, it gets hand-loaded to help increase its overall range, speed reload, which does exactly what it sounds like, and finally, perfect balance, which greatly increases the weapon's stability. Finally comes the weapon's namesake, Pocket Infinity, where this weapon fires in full auto mode and rounds that miss have a chance to return directly to the magazine. This is a great ability, and it's part of the reason why Pocket Infinity was so great in PvP before it got nerfed. This weapon used to have the enhanced battery perk, which knocked its mag size up from 3 to 8, making it a veritable flamethrower in PvP. Now, unfortunately for the Infinity, Bungie decided that that was a bit too powerful and replaced enhanced battery with speed reload. But even with the greatly reduced mag size, I think Pocket Infinity is still a pretty potent weapon. But alright, that about wraps up this video guys. If you like what you saw here, feel free to check out my channel where we'll have a ton more Destiny videos coming out soon. Hopefully this helps some of you guys get the Pocket Infinity. Well, that's it for me now guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians stay frosty. Fluffy Kittens, Fluffy Kittens, Fluffy Kittens.